Have you ever wondered why presidents need so much protection? We all know they're important, but why do they need an entire army of Secret Service agents to keep them safe? Why is so much money spent to protect them? The answer is actually quite simple. For starters, there are a lot of people out there who don't like the president. Whether it's because of their policies or just because they're a figurehead for the government, there are always going to be people who want to cause trouble. And it's not just your average trouble, there are people out there who are willing to do some pretty crazy things to try and harm the president. Assassination attempts, terror attacks, lots of protests and angry crowds are all a part of a normal day in the life of a president. That's where the Secret Service comes in. They're responsible for keeping the president safe no matter what, and to do so they go through intense training to prepare for any situation, and they're always on the lookout for any potential threats. So while it may seem like overkill to have so much security for one person, the truth is that the president represents a lot more than just themselves. As a result, the security measures put in place for presidents are some of the most advanced and heavily guarded in the world, ensuring their safety at all times. In today's video, we will introduce our viewers to the top 5 most heavily guarded presidents in the world, who have taken extreme measures to ensure their safety and the safety of their countries. At number 1 we have Vladimir Putin, the Russian President. The Russian President Putin is one seriously powerful and controversial leader who has been in office for over two decades, overseeing significant changes in Russia's political landscape and foreign relations. The boss of bosses, Putin, has a security plan so tight in place that you'd have better luck trying to sneak past a pack of hungry wolves, and that's why he tops our list today. Putin's got his own security team that follows him around everywhere, known as the Presidential Security Service. Basically, they're responsible for keeping him safe from any harm. They're highly trained in martial arts, firearms, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. They also use high-tech gadgets including encrypted communication devices, bulletproof vehicles that are designed to withstand attacks, including bombs and gunfire, and even drones. That sounds like something out of a James Bond movie, doesn't it? But don't be impressed yet, there's more. It's not just the Presidential Security Service that takes care of Putin's security. Putin has a whole army of bodyguards who surround him at all times, known as Putin's Musketeers. These guys are as tough as his biceps and follow him wherever he goes, whether it's for official events or private travel. These bodyguards are responsible for providing perimeter security, crowd control, and monitoring potential threats, and they are trained to take a bullet for him if they have to. Now that is some serious dedication. And it's not just physical protection, Putin's security team also takes care of his cybersecurity. They use sophisticated software and encryption to keep his communication secure from eavesdroppers. He's also got a whole team of high-tech surveillance experts monitoring him 24-7 like a hawk, making sure he's safe in all times at all costs. With the world's most advanced nuclear arsenal at his fingertips, he's been crowned the ultimate global power player. Number 2 on the list is the former President of America, Donald Trump. As you know, the President of the United States is one of the most powerful people in the world. And Donald Trump is a prominent figure not only as a former president of the United States, but also as a billionaire with a vast portfolio of business ventures worldwide. His net worth is estimated to be over $2.5 billion, making him one of the wealthiest individuals in the world. Though it's no surprise that Donald Trump was provided with the highest level of protection and security possible. He actually made history by spending way more on security than any other president. For example, it cost around $16 million to keep President Obama and his family safe for a year, but Trump upped the ante by spending a whopping $29 million. To make sure Trump and his family were safe, Congress set aside a whopping $120 million in 2017. That's a lot of dough, and the elite squad in charge of the duty was none other than the Secret Service. These guys are basically like the ultimate bodyguards responsible for the safety and security of the president, the vice president, their families, and other high-level government officials. They're armed, they're skilled in martial arts, and they're always watching for potential threats. They had President Trump's back 24-7 by making sure the White House, Air Force One, and other presidential residences were safe and sound. They even did background checks on people who had access to the president to keep him secure from potential threats both at home and abroad. On top of that, they also helped protect Trump's administration from cyber attacks by working hard to prevent hackers from getting into government systems and networks. And if there was ever a cyber incident, they investigated it like pros to make sure everyone was safe and secure. 
But it's not just the Secret Service that's responsible for the president's safety. Surrounded by fences, barriers, and other security measures, the White House itself is like a fortress. There are also snipers positioned on rooftops, bomb-sniffing dogs patrolling the grounds, and advanced surveillance systems keeping an eye on everything. At number 3 we have Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un, the leader, or rather dictator, of North Korea is known for having one of the most secretive and heavily guarded regimes in the world, with a personal security force of over 100,000 soldiers, and a network of underground tunnels to ensure his safety. The country's ruling party, the Workers' Party of Korea, has got the dictator's back, front, and sides all covered with her special squad, called the State Security Department. They're kind of like the Avengers, but for protecting the North Korean leader and keeping the peace. Kim is often seen flanked by his loyal bodyguards, who wear identical black suits and sunglasses, and they're always on high alert, ready to jump into action at a moment's notice. They keep an unwavering eye on their leader 24-7, ensuring that any potential threats are identified and neutralized before the attacker can even think of getting close to their beloved dictator. Highly trained and highly skilled with years of experience, these elite bodyguards practice martial arts every day to stay in top physical condition. But it's not just about being tough. They are also highly coordinated and able to work seamlessly as a team to ensure the safety of their leader in any situation. Also, North Korea's got cameras, lots and lots of them, and other spy gear all over the place to keep tabs on everyone's movement, including the leaders. Their surveillance system is so advanced that they can track and monitor any suspicious activity in real time, making it nearly impossible for anyone to escape their watchful eye. And let's not forget the propaganda that surrounds Kim Jong-un. The government makes Kim Jong-un out to be a total boss, which keeps any potential troublemakers at bay. So Kim Jong-un isn't just a leader, he's basically a god there. We're talking bow down in worship levels of respect. The government makes sure everyone knows that their leader is the man and that nobody better mess with him. And they don't play around when it comes to dissent in North Korea. If you even think about speaking out against the regime, you're in for a world of hurt. We're talking lock you up for life or kill you type of punishment. And as if that wasn't enough, North Korea is like a fortress that pretty much is impossible for outsiders to get into and for some unhappy North Koreans to get out of. So Kim Jong-un's just chilling in his own little bubble, safe and sound from any foreign and internal threats. Number four on the list is the Chinese president Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping, being the president of China and the leader of the Communist Party, is heavily protected and guarded by an elite unit called the Central Security Bureau. As one of the most heavily protected leaders in the world, his army of security guards is impressive to say the least. Now when we say guards, we don't mean the cute kind like Buckingham Palace guards. We mean the tough, trained kind who will go to any lengths to protect their leader. Xi Jinping has a whole team of bodyguards that follow him around wherever he goes. They're trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat, weapons, and martial arts. They use various high-tech gadgets and tools like helicopters, movable barricades, and surveillance equipment to keep a watchful eye on any potential threats. And if anyone tries to mess with their president, they're ready to take them down. When she travels abroad, his security needs escalation even further, with local law enforcement often mobilized to provide an additional layer of protection. There are people who secure the airport, people who secure the hotel, and people who secure the area around his destination. Overall, she is under tight security to ensure his safety and that of the country's top leadership. In addition to physical security measures, Xi Jinping's team of cybersecurity experts make sure that his online presence is locked down tight. They use advanced encryption software, firewalls, and other security measures to protect him from hackers and other online threats. This level of security is necessary due to the high-profile nature of Xi's position as the leader of China and the potential threats that come with it, both in the physical world and online. Number 5 on the list is the Turkish President, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Now, if you've ever seen the Turkish President on TV or in person, you'll notice that he's always surrounded by a ton of security personnel. But have you ever wondered what it takes to protect the leader of a country? Well, we did some research and it turns out that the Turkish president's security detail is no joke. In fact, it's one of the most robust security forces in the world, consisting of highly trained personnel who are equipped with state-of-the-art technology and weaponry to ensure the safety of the president at all times. Let's start with the president's residence. Located in an area that's heavily guarded and fenced off, his residence is equipped with advanced security systems, including surveillance cameras, motion detectors, and biometric access controls. 
Then there's his security personnel who are trained to react quickly and efficiently to any potential threat, making it nearly impossible for anyone to breach the perimeter undetected. So there is no chance of anyone getting in without going through multiple security checkpoints and screenings. When on the move, Recep Tayyip Erdogan is always accompanied by a fleet of heavily armed vehicles, including armored cars, tanks, and even helicopters. Then there's the Presidential Guard, who is like his personal bodyguards and are trained to handle any threats up close and personal. But that's not all. You've also got the Turkish National Police and Military Police, who make sure the whole area is secure and keeps the crowds in checks at all times while the president is around. So a little in-depth analysis reveals that the president's security team includes snipers, secret service agents, and even a team of trained martial artists. Yep, you heard that right. The Turkish president's security detail includes a group of black belt martial artists who are ready to take down any threat with their lightning fast moves, just like a scene straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster. And when the Turkish president travels overseas, the host country's security forces also chip in to provide an extra layer of protection. Basically, the Turkish president's safety is the top priority, and a whole bunch of security forces work together to make sure he's protected wherever he goes. Now you might be thinking, but wait, isn't all of this a bit excessive? Well, when you're the leader of a country, you can never be too careful. The Turkish president is responsible for the safety and well-being of millions of people, so it's essential that he's well protected at all times. It's intense, it's impressive, and it's all in the name of keeping the leader of a country safe. Speaking of impressive, if you found this video enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as it helps us out a ton. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these crazy security details down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one.